We've been talking about the importance of blood donations and how they can save lives. Well, a Bourbonnais family knows this intimately. A stranger stepped up to save their two-year-old son. Mads Pomranke was diagnosed with leukemia at just five months old and needed a stem cell transplant to survive. An 18-year-old nursing student from Ohio was a match. The two families recently met. Jennifer and Derek Pomeranke join us now with Mads. And there they are in the lower corner of your screen. We also welcome donor Kaylin Speed on the lower right hand corner and Olivia Haddix in the upper right, a donor recruitment coordinator for DKMS. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jennifer and Derek, let's start with you, please. This all started when Mads developed cold symptoms. What happened next? Uh, we took him to his pediatrician and she had noticed his spleen was enlarged, which prompted her to get an ultrasound and blood work. And that's when we found out his blood levels were through the roof and that he possibly had leukemia. Uh, once we found out that news, we went up to University of Chicago Comer Children's Hospital where we received the news within hours that he was uh, diagnosed with leukemia. It had to be terrifying. What, you know, how do you wrap your head around the diagnosis, next steps? What, what went through your head? It was just a whirlwind of information. Um, we didn't really know how to process it all at first, uh, but with the help of his medical team, they told us exactly what the steps we were going to take and how to get him to be um, cured from leukemia. We did find out he did need a bone marrow or stem cell transplant fairly early on. Um, and then, but they told us right away, don't worry, he has a match, he's a 10 out of 10 match, um, no problem there, so he will get through this. 10 out of 10 match, that's you, Kaylin. You were in college when you registered as a stem cell donor. So tell us about the moment that you learned you were a match for MADS. Yeah, so I was actually in the midst of my first semester college finals. Um, I was freaking out about that. And my mom calls me and she's like, what did you sign up for, Kaylin? And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm just I'm just studying. And she's like, you, I got a call that you're like a match for a bone marrow donor. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I did do that. <laughs> That's insane, actually. OK. Um, and she was like, there's this guy who called. Um, I know you're gonna do this, so let's give him a call back and like get the ball rolling on all of it. And then it went through the process of uh, finding out if I was a 100% match and doing like more blood work and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the second like I found out that this was happening, I was like, oh, I'm doing this 110%. Like I'm ready. And I was crying the night before cause I went and got blood work done because I was like, if I am not this little boy's match, I'm gonna. I can't. Like I have to be. 110%. So when I did find out that I was indeed the perfect match, it was like everything kind of just like went together. It was like, this is how it's supposed to be. Here's this opportunity and we're going to strive for it. So it was honestly such an amazing feeling that you can't describe in words. And incredible that now you you know who each other are. You, you've met each other. This this process um, worked. How How is Mads now? Great, awesome. doing awesome. You wouldn't even know that he had anything wrong with him. He's just a normal, rambunctious little two-year-old. <laughs> miracle of science and the generosity of others. Quickly before we leave, Olivia Haddix with DKMS. How does somebody register to donate and how often are people matched like this? Yeah, so the easiest way to register as a donor is just to go to DKMS.org. You can order a kit completely for free. Um, you check your eligibility, fill out a form online, and then a swab kit that is actually a cheek swab, not like a COVID test swab, um, will arrive to your house with a prepaid envelope uh, with instructions. You complete the swab, send it back, and we will put you on the registry, and you will get a call if you are ever like Kaylin and matched up to a patient in need. Um, the amazing thing about this is really only on average about 1% of people people are ever actually chosen as a match. So um, it truly is kind of like finding your genetic twin, um, but those donors are so needed um, so that we can get an incredible full circle moment like this. Miracles performed every day. We thank you for, uh, you know, we thank you all for sharing this story with us. Uh, it's really incredible. We are so happy for Mad's health. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to learn more about stem cell registration, we have a link to the DKMS website at abc7chicago.com.
Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.